Oh, hey, uh, did you know that basically your entire life depends on rare earth minerals? Oh, and also that we're running out of them. I'm Anthony, this is D News, and man, do you ever need rare earth elements? Okay, they are these elements that are used in all the stuff that we need in our daily lives. Take neodymium, for instance. It's used in everything from medical imaging equipment to wind power turbines to skin cancer medication to cigarette lighters. And that's just one of 17 rare earth elements. Altogether, they make up critical bits of our LCD screens, our mobile phones, our computers, and our sources of renewable energy. Right now, China provides about 95% of all of our rare earth elements, and they've been sending out a message for the last few years. Dude, we have got to ease up. One reason is that demand is skyrocketing. We need 136,000 tons of this stuff per year right now. But in just two years, we're gonna need 185,000 tons. We're burning through our supply and mining it as quickly as we need is kind of destroying China's environment. Now, fixing the problem is not as easy as developing alternatives. Ferrous magnets, that's, you know, magnets made of mostly iron, are 10 times weaker than a neodymium magnet. So the tiny magnets that we put in our computers and phones, all those little tiny things that we like to be small, would need to be 10 times bigger if we ran out of neodymium. But some really big news came out of Japan last week. They found a huge deposit of rare earth minerals in their seabed, up to 30 times more concentrated than China's supply. They analyzed some mud samples, and they believe that Japan's got 6.8 million tons of rare earth minerals just chilling down there. That's enough to keep the entire country running for 230 years. Here's the bad news. Uh, they are not the first to find a deposit of rare earth in their own country. The problem is really getting it. California has a rare earth deposit too, but we've spent about 10 years trying to get us to the point where we can safely and efficiently mine it. And Japan's got even more complexities to deal with. See, their supply is about 5,800 meters under the ocean. That's deep. There's never even been a successful commercial mining operation that's more than 5,000 meters below the ocean. So that sounds like trouble. And that means right now we are still burning through our main supply, the one from China. The danger here is not running out of rare earth minerals. All in all, China only has 23% of the world's supply. The danger is China running out of their supply before we're able to start getting it from other places. That's going to cause a very scary bottleneck in almost all industries and walks of life, including hindering the production of the energy that we'll need to mine for more rare earth elements. Guys, I can't even begin to worry about that this week though, because in case you didn't know, I'm living without food for a week, sort of. Uh, me and some other members of the D-News team, we're living off of Soylent. It's a total food replacement created by an engineer. You can check out our interview with him right here on the channel and then head to facebook.com slash dnews to see our daily diaries of how we are holding up without real food. Spoilers, it's a bumpy ride. <laughs>